Hello? <clears throat> I'm back. What's up? How is it hanging? How's it hanging? How How is it going? Stardew Jams. You want to... Okay. The Stardew Jams is 26 songs. It's by Erica. It's only 43 minutes long, though. We need the long, the long Stardew playlist, right? Which one is that? World of Warcraft music. World of War. Rim World by Pepsin. This is an hour and 22 minutes. Paradox. Okay, let's listen to the Pepsin stuff again. That was good last time, wasn't it? Everybody loves a little bit of Pepsin. An hour and 22 minutes. Pretty good. Remind me what we were doing on uh, Wednesday. What needs to be done? I can't even remember. Um, grass. Oh. Okay, we need to cut the grass. Oh yeah, everything's growing now, right? We got the uh, the auto load thing. No, nothing needs weeding. Weeding is all done. It's November. Perfect. Okay. Oh yeah, that's right. Okay, they're good. These guys are good. It looks like we now have 65 sheep. These ones sell for six seventy five now. They must be... They're almost two years old. These ones are only 10 months, but they are reproducing. These ones are only five months, and they're 62% through puberty. These ones have just been born. This is uh, the last five to be born. We've got 36 grand, and uh, we set up um, clothes, right? We're just waiting for fabric to distribute, which it hasn't done yet. sell the old ones what is it the old ones we can sell for what's 675 times 20 is there a calculator in this game let me get the calculator open calc six six seven five times 20 that's like 13 and a half grand 13 and a half grand for 20 sheep. That seems wild. A bit, we'd only be buying... I guess we can just buy babies again, right? You think it's worth just buying cheap cheap babies and let, letting them grow? That's a little bit of money. Pigs... I, I can see why people think that pigs are pretty good. I think that's pretty nice. Okay, perfect. All right, I'll mold this grass. I think the silage might be ready as well. I'll go check in a sec. Oh, one thing I will do though first is... Make sure that this thing is doing what it needs to do. Perfect. Sheep reached their max price of a thousand bucks per head at 36 months. You think it's worth selling the, uh, it's like 20 grand, right? For the, the first batch of 20 that'll come up. You think it's worth selling animals when they get to, uh, when they get to like full, full price age and keeping a rotation in? Cause I guess money, right? It's pretty good. What's uh what uh, do pigs sell for? What's the what's the uh, maximum price for a fully grown and fattened up pig? Does anybody know? Does anybody have the answer? Half your retirement savings, holy crap. What are you what are you planning on uh, retiring on? 420 at least? That's good. That is pretty good. Alright, let's get the mower on.
Doodle do 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 Ah, it's nice. The winter is winter is nice and chill, isn't it? Not like a tremendous amount to do. Just gotta just gotta sit back and watch the money roll in. We don't have access to this land. This land is not accessible. Yeah, we're close to the first billion, yeah, we're getting there. We're making moves. We're making we're making all the right moves to get to that that first billy. It takes a it takes a while. It's a big ramp up, but once once you start snowballing, look out. We've got a lot of things in in place for some big exciting things to happen. I think people think it's um, money in money in hand, which I don't know what to. I, how do you how do you normally measure if somebody's a billionaire? It's a combination of a lot of things, right? It's not just cash on hand. But, I mean, this is a video game, I guess. There's no way to really see how much we're worth. I mean... If we're talking, if we're talking money on hand and assets, I mean that's pretty good. We we we're probably worth a couple of million now, at least I would say. We got to be worth at least probably about like five million. So, still a long way to go. <laughs> yeah, 995 million to go. Uh, like I said, though, we'll get to a point where we just really snowball and it'll be over before you know it. Actually, when it, when we finally hit that billion, you guys will be like, fuck. I thought it was going to take forever, and it went so fast. And now we're done, and now we got to move on and play the next game, which is Overwatch 2 for a couple of months with no cam, very little commentary, and lots of raging. Yeah, and then a bit of Dota 2, just to cleanse the palate a little. Do a little bit of uh, Dota 2 palate cleanser. That's a really good idea. You should rename your say. So you should be Johnny Fairplay 62. You should be Johnny Great Ideas 62. And the 62 means how many great ideas per minute you come up with. Oh, six months of PoE? What about what about following that up following up six months of PoE with six months of lost arc, Dowie? Another huge favorite. God, people lose their shit when I play that game. They love it. 
Especially when I play it for months with no cam. And then, four months solid of played up. Oh. You guys, you guys, it's a, it's almost like you guys have watched this channel for a while. You know the, uh, you just know, like, what, what's happening. You just know how it's gonna go. How it's gonna go down. There's a, there's, a, there's a natural flow, isn't there? Like an ebb and a flow. Like a, like a running, like a raging river or like a babbling brook or maybe just like a, a oozing creek. An oozing pipe. Oxygen not included? Uh, I think oxygen not included, some people might actually want to watch that. We're, we're, we're trying to think of stuff that nobody really wants to watch. Puzzle game, sad. That, those are excruciating. Those are those are the worst. Um hello. I'm trying to um there we go. It wouldn't stop. It was out of control. I hate how fiddly the mowing tools are in general. I find them quite, you know, you gotta swap to the front and the back. 62% fermentation, and these are 62% as well. Okay. All right, let's get wrapping. Oxygen not included, uh, we're, we're due to play it again at some point, right? It's been a while, and it is a great game. It's a, it's a very bingey game too, right? You can get really obsessed with it. Designing cool systems and stuff. Oh, it's so much fun. This field's a mess, but uh, it's just like the mowing pattern always ends up leaving big clumps of grass everywhere. I don't know if you're really meant to 
fully clean it up. I don't know if it matters much. You're just roughly trying to pick it all up, right? Yeah, this grass, we're just uh, fermenting into silage and then selling it. We're not, uh, it's just something that we're just, we just store a lot of and once it's ready to go, we can just uh, sell it for a bit of money. It's just a bit of a, a side hustle. Really, it's just, uh, the grass is really just to feed the sheep, which they don't eat a tremendous amount of it. So the grass grows a lot quicker than they eat it, so... We just uh, ferment the um, the overstock and then sell it. So it sells for more. Silage sells for more than just grass. We started off this playthrough selling grass and it does not sell for anything. <laughs> it sucks. Yeah, 1k per bale is pretty good. Next, um, next harvest, we are not baling straw. We have that forge uh, wagon for it. We're just gonna pick it all up and sell it. Sell it in big, big dumps, big dumpers. game are you guys talking about Dowie? DJ Phoenix 719 I can't see the original message World War 2 online oh rim world the AI is not smart enough to collect grass on its own but I think with course play we can program AI to be able to do it we're kind of getting to the point where we'll get we'll get course play I don't I don't know if we'll get it straight away but We've got enough equipment now, I think, where we could probably do a lot more farm managing rather than all of the fiddly work. Yeah, a lot. To, I know. World War II Online's got so many polygons to render. It's crazy. We'll eventually get to the point where we will just be investing money into um, power stuff, right? I think that's like the big wind turbines and stuff just to make lots of passive income. The, the biggest one makes like quite a bit per month, doesn't it? like 70k per month or something
What's up, Milchin? How are you doing? We're back. We're farming. Any New Year's Eve plans? No, Dowie. None. Uh, you? We usually have uh, lunch with our family on New Year's Day, but New Year's Eve we don't really do much. New Year's Eve with some nuns. Some, some blue nuns. Multiple bottles. Last year you went to bed at 10 p.m. on New Year's Eve? I think I just stayed up and played video games when when I used to do that. I still do that. I just don't sit at my computer and do it now. I lay in bed and <laughs> play my iPad. No, I'm not going to stay up late ratting with Flax. Is he, is he playing Tarkov? Has Flax been playing like this wipe? Did I stream last year? Oh, I might have, yeah. What were we playing this time last year? What was the what was the hot game of the of the year? Beautiful. Alright, let's go pick some of these up. What was my reaction when I heard about OJ and his white Bronco? Oh my god. I was... Imagine my eyes just welled up full of tears. Screaming. Doing... I was ugly crying. Oh god, I phoned everybody I knew. I phoned my pastor straight away and I said I can't believe it. OJ's in his white Bronco. Just saw it on the news. December 22nd was Overwatch. Were we playing Overwatch this time last year? Overwatch 2? Has it been a year? WoW Dragonflight? Oh, do you know what? I probably was playing WoW at the time because it came out around this time last year, didn't it? Like the end of November, I think. Yeah, that's right. We probably would have been playing a lot of Dragonflight at the time then. Oh, that was fun. I like Dragonflight. I have no regrets playing that. That was great. I loved uh, all the guild raiding we did too. It was so much fun. I, we were pretty good considering in the end. We, I mean, we we cleared quite a bit of content. More more than I probably ever have in, in WoW since like Classic, I guess.
Nice. All right. Some more stuff to ferment. It is uh, November. How are we looking for um, wheat and oil and stuff? We still got plenty of oil. That's going to see us right through. We still got quite a bit of oat, but we have loads of flour. We haven't used up all the flour. So it looks like that's going to see us right through too. So I think how we have been planting is probably for now what we need to be planting how we need to be planting right for the current production until we upgrade some of it and then we'll have to probably expand and plant some more stuff so that we don't run out but we'll we'll make way more money like in in that time frame too so it will scale up it's nice Yes, the farm must grow. The farm is growing. It grows a little bit every day. Nice. I think the the yeah the first um, production upgrade we want is probably going to be um, furniture. I think furniture is the first one that we want. Check the sales quick. There is a Series 8 TTV with 287 horsepower on sale. There is another forage wagon. There is a tele handler here. And there is the Glass Direct Disc 500, 5 meters, 45% off. This is a uh, header. All right, November. That's it, that's all. Let's get a load. Oh yeah, we need bees. We need to get our bees back. I'm just going to load all that there so that we don't load up the um, truck the flowers because it means less of a load. The flowers don't stack. We found this out last time, right? But everything else seems to stack nicely. There's a pre-pruner. This is for vines? I don't know what this is. Grapes or olives or something, maybe? I've never seen a pre-pruner before in my life.
it's fine. The flowers aren't stacked to safety standards? Oh, yes, they are. Oh, no, they're not. Oh, yes, they are. I haven't seen a panto this year. We usually go see one. Anybody else seen a panto this year? I don't... We haven't seen one in a couple of years, actually. It's been a while. Stained. Um, circa... I want to say maybe 1999 or something. All right, it's daytime. It's daytime and it's December. Let me just check the sales. There's nothing new. Check the fields. Nothing needs doing. We should have some more silage fermented. has to also be loaded in manually. I don't think we can... That's not going anywhere. That That is strapped. Red. Oil. Um, has clothing started? Yes, there's 75 liters of clothes. Looks like we're completely out of wool fabric, so we'll have to stock that up again, too. Oh, we do have clothing. We've, we've manufactured one crate of clothing. All right, let's sell it. Sense for fashion. And we'll come back and grab the um, flowers on the way back. One, one pantalone. One pantalone. Yeah, it's white t-shirts. We're selling white t-shirts now. This is a load. Nice. 59? Really close to 60 for that.
This should be another 20k or so, I think. Probably get the big roller for the next harvest. Yeah, close. It was about 19. Great. Get rid of flowers and just get another mushroom for stacking. I think I'm going to leave it. I think it's it's fine. I don't want to uh, mess up the uh, system here now. If I delete this and then I can't place it back exactly where it is because all this stuff is in the way, it'll be really annoying, right? I think, I think I'll just leave it. <clears throat> it's a good idea, though, but... How much wood is in the uh, sawmill right now? Planks for furniture is fine. Oh, there's lots of wood, okay. All right, let's get some wood over here. Uh, wood? Wool. He's wool. No, I didn't watch Clarkson's farm. I haven't watched it. Oh, shit, there's tons of it. Wait a second. Where's that little... Where's the Valtra? Oh, it's over here. Who parked this over here? It's... <laughs> Who put this here? I'm wondering. Have I watched it? Yeah, I just watched it, Dowie. I just finished watching it. Yeah, it does do. Okay, nice. Just got a long way to go here. Okay. Um, oh, we want to check on... Um, silage. See how this is all doing. So it looks like that's done. This is done 96%. So all that should be done soon. And then this stuff will probably be done at the end of the winter. We're not going to get another um, cut in before March, I don't think. Because the grass won't grow December... January and February. So by then all of this silage will be ready to be sold. And then we can cut in March and uh, start stockpiling again for next winter. I think that's the way to do it. I think that's how we're, I think that's how how we're going to how we're going to do it. Oh, part of B. There's nothing on sale in December. All right, we're good to skip through December now, too. We'll just get another load going.
It's like filling and emptying at the same time. I don't know why it does this. But it does keep the greenhouses topped up. So that at least that we've basically just made our own hose here. There's a there's like a slight manual element to it, but I started watching the traders, the um, the UK one, with uh, with Winkleman. Still not a huge um, Winkle fan, but it's good. It's been good. I've really enjoyed it. Actually, I've really enjoyed it. It's 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 um it's interesting. It's a bit like Among Us. It's like Among Us. January. There is a MF7S on sale. There's also a uh, 264 grand for a um, tree thing, a tree uh, scorpion thing, a Komatsu, a 951. It's tempting. We could save for it. Better than paying uh, full price for it. Expensive. I don't know if we'll have enough money in time for the sale though, we'll see. I think we might have to feed the chickens today. We'll take a look. Hang on. Yeah. Give them a top up so that I don't forget. Alright, let's start filling this thing up. The uh, It's all full. Can I get a bada bing? Hey, bada bing! <laughs> hey, bada bing! Bada, bada, bada bing, bada boom! Giso. Alright, this should be pretty much the same price as yesterday. We should get the, the same amount of money, except uh, there might be some some better prices for some of this stuff. We'll see.
Oh, you know, probably... Oh, yeah, no, there's clothes. Okay, yeah, it's looking like it'll probably be more or less the exact... Oh, it'll be a little bit more. There's two furniture today. <laughs> Our big money item right now is clothes, which we should probably try to ramp up a little bit more, but we're going to need a lot more sheep. We need to start upgrading the uh, spinnery. How many um, how many sheep pens do we need to feed uh, six levels of spinnery to keep it to keep it producing? Clothes produce quite quickly once they have everything that they need. Yeah, we're, we'll need some cotton as well. Yeah, so that's 59, and then we should get another 20 or so from the flowers. There's a, uh, a big 6.2 meter header, crone header. I think we're gonna miss this uh, tree feller. big tree thing is cool but god it's a lot of work i mean it cuts the trees down so fast especially if you strip them and slice you can do the strip first and then you can do the uh the slicing right into the back of a trailer is what we used to do i don't know if you can still do that but it, it wasn't that bad get a couple of trailers lined up and just load them all up Got one hundred ninety-one thousand. So I don't want to drive through the field. Hello, sheeps. Um, let me just double check. To make sure everything is fine looking good great the grass has not started growing yet the chickens need to be fed we'll pick them up some barley oh actually there's probably a little bit left over in here right from the last one 
Let's see how much is actually in here. Ah, uh, there looks like there looks to be a little bit. Oh, that's great. All right. That'll see them through for another couple of months. Do 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 do. All right, two hundred sixty-four. We're not gonna have enough for it, unfortunately. January, you're dead. Planks were good. Okay, we're out of oat now, but we've made flour 73,000 liters of flour, which we're still working through. This is starting to run low on planks, so we might get planks distributing. Into furniture. Canola, we're still really good. 74,000 liters of canola. Fabric is using up all of the stuff and still a little bit in the clothes factory, too. Okay, good. He's so mad and understandably so. I mean, I would be too if I was competing against this level of efficiency. It's insane. There is a subsoiler here with an eight meter spread. We lost the uh, the big thing. This track this tractor is 295 horsepower fully upgraded. We have a uh, a current tractor that can still be upgraded a couple of times, right? Maybe next time we take it to the workshop, we'll fix it. It's Feb. Nope, nothing in Feb. There is a, a huge bale loader here. This one takes both square and, is this an auto loader? Holy crap, look at this thing. I've never seen that before. That is huge, yeah. Could be good for the uh, the silage, huh? Good 
There's not going to be any planks today because we need to uh, start beefing up um, furniture production, right? So we will ignore planks. Eventually, we just won't be collecting planks at all. We'll just be distributing them. And planks is kind of like a, a a way to make a quick buck because it it overproduces them. But we're gonna make some more finished wood product. Actually, we should buy the Silver Run Market so that we can sell some of the other wood products or at least see what some of them sell for. Get an idea. The, the next um, things that we want to start making could be fun. Apparently, horses are not as OP as they once were. They toned them down. Horses were nerfed, apparently. In in 19, they were, like, insane. Really good money. And now, apparently not so much. I, I would... I, this is what I was told. I, I don't know. I, I haven't, like, looked into it or anything. Just going by what chat said. With another 20 or so for the flowers. Big roller is 120k. We'll do a bit of grass cutting, uh, and uh, I think tomorrow. I, th I I think the silage is probably all done now, so we probably sell that too. There's nothing else on sale. It's that big bale collector, bale loader. Instead of nerfing them, they should have just added a whole bunch of new castles to every map. <laughs> that would have that would have uh, directly nerfed them as well. Yeah, would have been really good.
thing we have all of these helpers with, to help with the loading and unloading. Can you imagine I had to do all this by hand? Crazy. <laughs> Alright, that whole row is ready to go. This is at 98%. I believe that uh, the grass will start to grow tomorrow. So we will sell all this silage tomorrow morning. Let's just put some more of these here so that we don't have to worry about doing it again for a little while. It's just like a, it's like an auto feeder for the uh, for the sheep. Sim 3 next? Like squeeze me? Can you farm butterflies in this game like in the Zoo Builder game? No, absolutely not. It is strictly forbidden. Now, you can't distribute the wool. It's, uh, the wool is produced at a, uh, animal building, so... You can't distribute it like you can from a factory building, unfortunately. Alright, let's upgrade this. We're going to customize this to give it the... The 305, right? It's going to cost us 50 grand. It'll make it able to do much more stuff. Keep checking the sales before I buy the roller, because you never know. Yes, I have a house, thank you. You want to see it? Here it is. Home sweet home. Want the grand tour? There it is. There's a little shitter in here. Not a whole lot of privacy. Comes with its own fruit bowl and everything. It's perfect. It's just what I need. Sleep on the couch? I mean, I didn't even sleep. Ooh. 
Who needs to sleep? All right, this is good actually. So this tractor is is ready to do some some work this season, and we'll see if we can get another one too. We have two good tractors now. All right, February is done. Probably have to fill this thing up and repair it soon. I'm stuck. I don't think I'm close enough to this. Oh, I don't think I am. Get on over. We're almost at the end of the RimWorld playlist. There's a header here. 7.5 meter width. Don't need that. We didn't prep any fields or anything, so there's nothing to uh, nothing new to plant this year. We're just kind of trying to save money for production and then seeing what we need off the, off the back of that. And there's still a couple of um, things we need to buy too, right? For field work. It hates the uh, 
It hates the not full palette. How's all this stuff doing, actually? Oil, we're still really good. Um, and flour, we're still pretty good, too. Oh, this has been great. We've made so much money this winter. It's like 51, 52. I think we might need to feed the chickens again soon. Yeah, I, I upgraded the uh, the other red tractor. It's 50 grand to get uh, the engine up to 305 horsepower. It's pretty good. Now it, it can do most of the heavy work that the other red tractor can do. this and that and we'll grab some fuel too We have enough for the big roller, yeah. We're gonna see if we can get one. We don't need it until uh, after the harvest, so. We need it, we need it like August, September, so we'll see if we can get, we can snipe one for like half price or whatever. And then if not, well, we'll just buy one. We'll just keep some money back to buy one. <laughs>
Yes, Jeffs. Sheep, I'm so sorry. Have I done a rough estimate of how much it'll cost me to get olives and grapes going? No, I haven't. I've, I'm told it's expensive, but I'm not uh, exactly sure. Um, just how expensive, you know? I don't know if I can um, use the auto stacker here. I might need to buy another trailer and convert it if I want to run big loads of this back. Let me just take a quick look, actually. Bale? Balers? I want a trailer, right? A big bale trailer? This thing has uh, an enormous capacity. Holy crap. Can these be customized? No. Configuration, manure spreader, or standard? This thing's huge, look at this. This can store a lot of stuff in it too. Oh, look at this one, jeez. How, um, <clears throat> how can I load bales onto a, a trailer quicker than using this thing? I know this one does the one by one, but I wanna do the, I wanna just auto load ones that are sitting in the yard onto a, a trailer. It's this guy here, right? Not Rudolph. The Brantner? The Powerflex? No, it's not the Powerflex. It's this guy here, configuration. Bale trailer. How many bales can this store on it? Like so many. Newer spreaders, balers, bale loaders. Oh, this is just a, a bale trailer. And it can store both round and square bales. Same with this one. That's what we're looking for, right? Or or something like this. This one collects square bales. All right, let's grab this thing. You want to go for the extension? Heck yeah. 20,000 bucks. There's a bigger one than this? Well, this one. Design one, design two, design three. Square bales are better than round bales? Well, I don't think you can do square bales of silage though. I think they have to be round. There's no there's no uh, wrapper uh, for for square ones though, right? Oh, you can do wrap bales of both types. Oh. I guess the uh, I guess the square ones are easier to um, not only easier to load, but they have bigger capacity as well. You like design too? does look pretty cool, doesn't it? 36,500 bucks. 
You're doing great, Dad. All right, I'm buying this. It'll be on, if it's on sale in two days, I'll sell the uh, new one and buy the uh, the second hand one, and then we'll just make make some of the money back. But yeah, it probably will be on sale in like two days. It's probably on sale right now. It probably went on sale the moment I bought it. Yeah, I know about the uh, the bale storage buildings, but if you put uh, silage bales into bale storage buildings, will they still ferment in there? They should do, right? But I'm just scared to buy one and it doesn't do that, and then I should have just left them out in the field anyway. So you, can you can you check on how fermented they are if they're in the uh, in the building? Yeah, putting them in there and taking them out isn't a, isn't a problem because we're we got auto loader now, right? We got it ahead of getting the warehouse stuff, which I think is going to be better. Summit celebration. Good thing. Uh, good thing it just went to. Um, to, what's it called? Stardew Valley music straight away, right? Oh, I know what we could listen to. Oh, I know what we should listen to. Yes, baby. Yes, this is the one. This has two hours and 18 minutes of music. Look at this thing. <clears throat> Auto bail mode? What is that? Oh, hey, Erica, what's up? Where do you have the uh, the link to that long ass um, Stardew Valley play? Whoa. bail mode uh, unloading side left unfold the trailer I'm in love um, is that as many as it can hold That's a lot faster than doing it the other way, right? Twenty two bales in here. Where do you see twenty two bales? Is that just the maximum capacity? 
It does, there's not a um, a number or somewhere though, right? All right, twenty one thousand bucks worth of bales there. Go pick up the other load. So we, so all that work throughout uh, the year, mowing the lawn and um, baling and stuff, adds up to a little bit of money every year, and it will keep increasing, right? I love this trailer. That's for the playlist. Oh yeah, no, Erica, I'll, we'll listen to it after. Is that the really long one with all the Stardew playlists like um, combined? The, the one that's like hours long? Perfect, okay. We'll listen to it after we listen to this SimCity soundtrack. Maybe some of these aren't ready yet. You gotta open it up. Unloading side, fold the trailer. Um. Um, I'm stuck. I don't, I don't know why this is not, um, selling. Oh, there we go. It's because the uh, the auto loading thing was on. <coughs> My bad. My bad. That's great. Is there anything that needs to be done on these fields? No. Um, chickens probably need to be fed. How is the furniture plank stuff going? Well, okay. All right, it's time. It is time. It is time to um, buy this selling point. Not the farmer's market, not the pizzeria. It's the Silver Run Market, right? The Silver Run Market, we're going to put... Where can we put this? We could probably just put it down here, right? Make it part of this uh, this big selling point here. Perfect. Okay, right, fifty-seven grand for that. <coughs> Pardon me. There's also these, uh, like a bale selling point, a uh, grain selling point, and a uh, production selling point. 
no man's land you can just place them wherever you want a debris crusher there's a biomass heating plant which you can uh, I guess dump straw and bales and shit into at a selling a oh this is just a selling point for wood bales and stuff like that too I don't know do you get uh, any extra income from the um, from the power as well That I'm not sure about. Alright, so now we can see wood beams. Uh, we should be able to see the prices of some of this stuff now, right? This new stuff. So planks, furniture. We can sell an armoire for 2249 bucks. Barrels for just over a grand. Bathtubs for nearly two grand. Birdhouses. Bowls. Holy crap, bowls seem pretty good. 1,645. Carton roll. It's pretty nice, like three grand. A cat tree for just over three grand. A dog house for two and a half grand. Easel. Floor tiles seem pretty good too. Paper roll. Wow, paper is wild. Look at that, three grand for paper. What's a uh, pepper grinder? What do you need to uh, to make paper? There's another production building for paper, isn't there? It's a paper mill. Sugar mill, cereal factory, oil, grapes, bakery, carpentry, dairy. Carpentry, um, this is the one that we're using right now, isn't it? For furniture. Barrel factory needs metal that I don't know. I don't know how to make. The furniture factory needs metal as well. Flooring factory can just use planks or long planks. There's an iron furnace and a mine shaft. So the paper factory just takes trees, it looks like, and can either make paper or carton rolls. And both of those sell really good. It's a hundred and thirty grand for this thing. But we'd be able to uh, upgrade it and stuff too, right? And then we could just run, uh, directly run wood in here. Oh, it's poplar? It doesn't look like poplar. It looks like just trees. Poplar is a different icon. It's like a more rounded looking tree. I think you can print your own money with this factory, yeah. Pet accessories, it looks like it takes wool and long planks to make. The, yeah, uh, the, the cat house was like just over three grand, right? Art accessories just needs these long planks as well. Roof shingles. The wood turner can make bowls and railings. And the wood turner is 80 grand and just wants wood. And then there's the sawmill. We have the sawmill already. The the other sawmill. We can upgrade that too, right? I feel like the pa like paper factory is probably a no-brainer, but um, I think we still want to do clothing stuff, right? We should probably keep our money for another sheep pen for now, and then get into cotton as well. I think we need to get another sheep pen. And, uh... Wait, if I build a sheep pen and I don't buy any sheep... Will the will the sheep in the other pen when they reproduce will those sheep go into the new pen? Or will they only reproduce into their own pen? You need to move them over.
you'd have to m manually move them. So I'd need to get a uh, trailer to move them, right? If I wanted to move like just the uh, just the older sheep over to the other pen. Yeah, this is the SimCity 2013 soundtrack, yeah. We still have enough for the roller. I mean, I could just buy all the sheep right now. And then... We can just get, we can just start enjoying this, uh, this production straight away, right? Because we won't need the money for the roller until, like, August, September. It's only March. We've still got tons of money to make in between. There's nothing on sale right now either. Um, oh yeah, we need to change the production here. Wood beams? Wood planks long? Wood prefab walls? Wood beams. Okay, we need to look at this stuff after, I think. I think we... I, I think... Clothing just sells for so much, right? We can get into some wood stuff when there's more... Land bought, and there's more trees to cut down, and replant and stuff. Animal dealer. Sheep barn large. Sheep barn. Which one is it? It must be this number three, right? Um, are we going for some Black Welsh Mountain? These ones produce the most wool, apparently, right? Or is it not the case? Is it just all of them produce the exact same amount? You want to get some Swiss black brown mountain sheep? We need some white sheep for some white t-shirts. So what, you want some land race of Bethlehems? get 20. Let's get 20 of them. And then we'll let the, uh, we'll let them spin up, you know? Yeah. Okay, cool. I'll go grab some barley as well.
Yes. Okay. Perfect. And then we can get some, um... We want to get some wet mud. Perfect. Okay. We can plant some trees and stuff. Make it look real nice. If you want. Oh, well, do ya, do ya, do ya wanna? Barley. money over the winter and now we've spent a bunch of it but we spent it on some some stuff that we need we're gonna, we can start saving up some more money and get into uh, cotton big cotton that'll give us loads of fabric right and then we can keep upgrading our fabric uh, our spinnery just start belching out the clothes Use all that clothes money to do some uh, some fun wood stuff. gotta go feed our new sheep. Oh, I forgot to get the, uh, the weight. <laughs> oh man, <laughs> I need a heavier tractor for this job. Sips, do you want to make it all right? Sips, do you want to have an is tonight? Oh, Sips, do you want to, if you want to, take what you need? Yes, very much so. Thank you so much for Kartoffel. Thanks so much for the thousand bits. I hope I pronounced your name right. I hope that's not some racist German swearing. Because people are always trying to catch me out. Doing a little little bit of drift in here. Perfect. Oh my god. We we might actually need to uh, bale up some uh, grass for food soon. 
Can you believe that? There might be a time where we're not just doing silage stuff. Uh, we can buy another field, though, if we really want. Buy the field next to it and just mow the shit out of the... We don't even need to create a new field for it. We'll just mow that grass. Probably need to get a bigger trailer to uh, move wool soon as well. I don't think this one's gonna do the job for long. It was just a little cheapy one. I didn't have much money at the time. <laughs> it's a bit silly, isn't it? <laughs> it is a silly one. Um, Alright, March, I think we're done with you. I think it's time. Um, so, April, May, June. I think we're harvesting in July, right? Everything is, uh, is a July harvest. Wheat and canola to keep our production up. Yes. And then we will be planting canola again in August and then wheat in September. Perfect. So we'll get the big roller for then. Nice. God, I love when a plan comes together. Just another sunny day on the farm. Understandable. Understandable. I've uh, engineered this so that I have exactly the right amount for the the big roller. I would be mad at this efficiency as well. If we bought the big roller right now, we would still have like 700 bucks left over. That's crazy. You know what you can do with 700 bucks? You could take it right to the bank and you could live off the interest. That's what you can do. Yes, you can. God, you can, yeah. I mean, it depends on how much you need to live off of, though. If you're if you're the type of person that's just eating like two pot noodles a day, you'd probably be fine. You don't need any electricity or water. You can just get the water from puddles outside, and then use a uh, flaming barrel <laughs> to heat up your pot noodle twice a day be fine. I don't know what the problem is. I mean, oh, jeez. There's nothing on sale in April? What? Live under an overpass? Yes in a tent. You could save up all your interest from your 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 windfall. You buy a tent, they're only fifty bucks. Fifty bucks for a tent, that's nothing. Alright. It is it's daylight. Let's go.
Oh, one thing I need to do is wood planks need to be stored now because I'm pretty sure furniture, yeah, it's jam-packed. All right, so we are once again selling planks until we um, start doing something else with it. Planks. We have no clothes to sell today. A bit of oil. And some furniture. I think we're mowing the grass today too. It's nice that we have so much production set up now. Because it, it, it does just make a lot of money throughout the whole year especially when you can keep it filled with all of the uh, stuff it needs canola and grain for flour I need you Magneto I'm very strong, I know. Well, I work on a farm. It's only natural. I'm going to be ripped. Yeah, I'm outside all day. Forty-one? Forty-two, maybe? Not, not having the clothes makes a difference, doesn't it? One liter of clothes is like eight to ten grand. Every minute without bees is taking us further away from Jesus. Oh man, you're right. We should really get some more bees. I'm gonna check the sales. There is a planter on sale. Uh, we we need a tree planter. We're gonna need one eventually. We don't need one right now. It's not not critical at the moment. like just under 20k of flowers sold
Look, they're they're starting to produce already. Good job, sheep. Look at that. Now we can make white t-shirts. I'm pretty sure this field's ready to be... Oh no, it's not. It's still growing. Okay, sorry. I thought we were cutting the grass today. We're not. It looks like May. This looks like we're doing a May grass cut. Let's get him prepped. We'll get him prepped and ready to go tomorrow. we're done I don't think there's anything that we need to do for the rest of April chickens are fed these guys are ramping up now I think um, just before the winter is when they they tend to give birth right I've played uh, Valheim yeah it's good um, nothing to do on the fields yeah, no, we're, we're good. Oh, yeah, I wanted to just check uh, production quick. So, furniture's got enough planks. We'll be able to sell some wood planks tomorrow. Uh, we need a little bit of wood for the... Um, for the thing. I'll drag some in. I'm not cutting it up and putting it into that small trailer. We need the we need a bigger log trailer, but it's not a priority right now. We can just use the winch. Might as well keep it filled up, right? Start emptying out this um, stockpile here. Yeah, we checked the sales. It's just a planter. No, nothing that we really need right now. No, stop it. Stop it. Stop it. I think I can drag a couple more in as well. Stop it!
Yeah, I'll just grab these two since they're a bit out of place compared to the rest of them, and then we can leave it at that for now. Alright, let me put this winch back. And then I think we can just advance time to May. There's no mod for this uh, winch. It's um, the premium expansion, I think. Gives you all the extra forestry stuff. You get like a forestry map too. The grass was not ready to be cut today. It's still growing. I think it'll be ready tomorrow. I don't think I'm gonna play Tarkov. No, I I, I have uh, I've not really enjoyed Tarkov for a while. It's just too sweaty for me. I liked it at first. I really liked it at first. But I think it's just been out too long and people are just too good at it now. It's just not fun. This is the same run I started watching on YouTube yesterday with four hours of spading grass. This is it, yeah. This is the one. We built we built all this from grass. should get some bees. Um, where's the best place to put the... Uh, I'll do it tomorrow morning. Get some bees. It's almost May. eventually 303,000 bucks 37% off look at this thing 12 meter spread this is a cedar ours is still better ours is still way better we got we got the best one in the business. Um, 
We have to do it this way, chat, because the, um... The flowers don't stack with the uh, auto stacker mod. So it's... What I've been doing is I've been stacking the mushrooms, which do stack. And then, uh... I should slow down time, actually. And then I usually come back to get a load of flowers. Because you can't fit the rest of the stuff in the truck. The flowers. I make I could try to use another auto loader mod, but this one seems pretty good. This is the one that comes pretty highly recommended. Aha, we got clothes. I've just seen a stump. Aha! <laughs> what are you doing here? We gotta get rid of the little bit that comes off it too, right? It's caused us so many problems. The AI just throws a damn fit if there's one of those little wedges left in a, in a field or whatever. I think eventually we'll get to the point where we're not doing like deliveries like this every day. We'll probably, once we're, we're producing a lot more volume, um, we'll probably use the warehouse mod to store stuff and then bulk sell it when the prices are really good, right? God, that's gonna be awesome. We need to find a place to set up the warehouse. Yeah, we've done, I think we've done just like one upgrade, the upgrade mod. What we need to do, um, as we ramp up uh, wool production and cotton production, we're going to need to upgrade the uh, spinneries. But we we could probably do with uh, upgrading the uh, furniture factory pretty soon, too. The furniture is decent money. But clothes are huge money. Nice. 68? 69? Actually, it looks like probably 69, right? Yeah, nice. Nice. Oh, it's almost harvest time! <laughs> oh, two more months! Two more months! Um, we're not really expecting profits this harvest. All the, the harvest just gets plowed back into production completely. So we're not going to be selling anything. We're harvesting canola and wheat so that we can make flour and oil, which will keep us uh, profitable 
all throughout the year. Nice. 22. Another 22k of flowers as well. Alright, we gotta cut the grass today. get these guys loaded up too. <laughs> we need a bigger trailer <laughs> for this. <laughs> this trailer is ridiculously small. sell it it's it it's so dumb we can get something bigger right we got the money this should be ready to go I'm pretty sure it is yeah okay perfect Alright, I'll sell this and I'll get something. What do you think would be good for transporting all that wool? So we'll have to do... It's a job that we're going to have to do every day. Selling it. I'm going to sell it for 2960 bucks. Yes. Perfect. Uh, we might as well just repair everything while we're here. Right. And in terms of stuff on sale, 303000 uh, for this thing, but I think we're going to miss it. And then uh, there is a... Log transporter with a small... Oh, we'd have to cut stuff up for this one. I don't think it's worth getting it. We got the cedar and we don't need fluid transport for slurry. So we might just have to get a trailer. Um, probably the bale trailer, right? Or we could just get the... Uh, the we could get this big one, the the um, this one you can uh, you can change right to configuration bail trip. This will probably be fine, right? Eleven thousand five hundred. We'll be able to store all of the wool that we need to for now, right? On this. It's fine. Yeah, that's perfect. The red is intense. Yes, chef. 
Yes. No, this isn't the same one. This is the, the, the next one up. It's a bigger version. big square grass field and then we can actually get the AI to uh, mow the grass properly right is hay worth more than silage no I don't think so I think silage is worth more than hay. We're gonna need some, uh, we're gonna need to get some, um, more grass. We might not do silage, actually. Let's get some more grass for the sheep. They're going to need uh, some more food now that we have more sheep. Try to build up a bit of a stockpile. We need a strategic reserve. The silage stuff is just a, a side thing, right? It, it doesn't matter. We've got most of the equipment that we need for it, if not all. Shit, we're wrapping this. We can just unwrap them though, right? They'll just be slightly fermented.
Maybe we just get another baler that can do big square bales for grass. And then get like a separate um, wrapper. Because it'll be faster, right? To just collect it all up and then feed them into a wrapper. Rather than doing like this baler having to wait. I want one that just constantly spews them out the back, you know? Epic bailing music? Heck yeah. It, I mean, bailing is very intense. Oh my god. <laughs> I can't believe it. <laughs> Drama. Very dramatic. I can't change the bale size on this one. I think they're both the same. Oh. Yeah, maybe the smaller bales I can just use as uh, as grass. Let me let me try that actually. That's a good point. I don't think it'll wrap 125. Or I think maybe it does wrap 125. Well, we'll see. We'll do a test. It's wrapping 125. Oh, that's annoying. Now there's going to be one bale that it won't be able to pick up and mix. I need to need to rethink this, I think, because we're going to need some grass from the next one. We might just... Um, I wonder if we just go with the big square and, and not bother wrapping it. Maybe just go for big, um, big grass bales and then just sell the ones that we don't need. Or just hang on to them in a warehouse. Because we'll definitely have some more sheep.
Well, I think round bales need to be um, ejected like this one is doing. So you always have to stop and wait for that to happen. Whereas the square bales, I think, just continuously come out the back. Icon fast bales around baler on the workshop that doesn't need to stop. It's based on a real life thing. Oh, really? Should I get it? What's it called? Vicon? It wraps too? Oh, nice. Is there the option to uh, to turn the wrapping off though? I need something that uh, I can kind of toggle wrapping because occasionally I do just need grass for the sheep, but then otherwise I just want to wrap it. Take a look after this and see if it does what we need it to do. One eighty doesn't wrap. I can't, this one doesn't do 180. It does 125 and 150. Oh, this one doesn't. 125 and 150 and it wraps both sizes. <coughs>
I think it's about the same size as the one I have. Um, right. What is this thing called, Seal Facts? Let's see if we can find it. Might be a good one. What are we looking for? Baylor. The net wrap add-on. The Crone Big Pack 1270. The Pakistan Hammer. Crazy. It's red. The Vicon Fast Bale. Yeah, this one here. Oh, this is a Giants uh, software one. 150 horsepower, 17 kilometers per hour. Added electrical connection, minor i3D adjustments. Yeah, this seems like a base game one. So this one, uh, this one wraps and you can use it while moving. All right. Anything else I need while I'm here? There's a rake. <laughs> Cut open bales. Push round bales. What is this thing? What's a Fort a Fort Schritt K454? That looks insane. There's no way that this is a real thing, or is it? Look at this thing. That is insane. Liftable bales pack? We don't need that. The Quadro Pro Baler pack. Whoa, look at this thing. Look at this. Color configuration is great. Okay, I think I think we're good for now for that. We don't need anything else, right? Is there anything else that we need while we're in here? Course play? Takes the AI worker to the next level, so harvest and plow smarter. Use headlands. Work on irregularly shaped fields, not just rectangles. Work around islands in the field, like power lines. Save auto-generated courses to use a forge wagon to collect what a mower or harvester cut before. Oh my god. Find and collect or wrap all bales on a field. Jeez. Work on vines. Let the five helpers work on the same field in a group. Combine. Find a trailer to self-unload when full. Unload combines the trailer or auger wagon. Use loaders or vehicles with a shovel to pick up heaps on the field or to empty bunker silos. Set up your own fields wherever you like. Works great together with auto drive. Let Courseplay do the field work and auto drive to refill a sower or unload a forge wagon. Customize the automatically created field work courses to your liking with the course editor. Work in bunker silo to push and compact. You can actually automate that? Horseplay and auto drive at the same time. We should just get this, right? Even if we don't use it straight away, we can it's it's ready to go when we do want to use it. What's the what's the other one? Auto drive? Auto wrap? Auto light on off? I 
can't find it. Double music, I know, sorry. Auto load, auto load. I can't find uh, auto drive. Oh, auto drive is not from Mod Hub. All right. All right. Well, we'll use course play for now. For now, try it out. Try it out, Ryan. Okay, and we'll grab this uh, Vicon Fast Bale as well. Course play. Oh. Oh, sorry, I thought it was an error. It's just saying you can go get info and stuff from that place. Okay. Fill this bad boy up. He's empty. Um, sales? Nothing. So we want a uh, baler, and we want the wherever it is, the Vicon, the fast bale. Wheel setup, wheel brand, design. You can change the design. All right, so this can do 125 centimeter bales. 125 wrapped and 125 unwrapped. Um, how do you, is there is there an option in it to specify that you don't want it to, uh, it is small, isn't it? Yeah. But I guess it, it's pretty fast though. I'm just, I'm waiting for seal facts. This is seal facts is um, recommendation. It'll wrap grass automatically. Sure. But will it, can I set it so that it, it turns the wrapper off when I don't want it wrapped? No. All right. So it's just going to wrap no matter what. But it doesn't stop. Well, that's good. That is good. So we're gonna have um, we're gonna have to have two balers, I think, if we want to have just one for non non wrapped stuff, right? One of these bales out here is too small. I think it might be this one. That's no, not this one. It's this one. Oh god. I give myself a hernia lifting that, but it had to be done. I had to use all of my might. I'm going to need the chiropractor for that one. Yes, I'm also going to need to um, get one of those mesh things to um, sort out my uh, my hernia. My multiple hernias that I gave myself.
All right, all collected for now. Get a tether and feed. Oh, will it wrap hay? Will the baler wrap hay or will it only wrap grass? Because presumably, even with the wrapper, it won't wrap hay. Ah, okay. Maybe tether is the uh, is the answer then. We could, if we need some hay, we can just feed them hay instead of grass. Yes. 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 Okay. All right. Now we're now we're talking. A tether. So once it's uh once it's cut, we just give it a we give it a quick ted. Oh, tethers are so cheap too. You can go crazy if you want. Like this is a huge one, but we don't need 17 meters, right? We just want to follow the uh the stripe left behind the mower like we could just ted just get the cheap one. Oh, will it spread it out we'll have to windrow it okay so we mow it we ted it and spread it and then we go back over it with the wind rower What's the point in having a huge um, spread on a on a tether then? If, if I do the seventeen meter one, it'll it'll do it like in three rounds basically, right? But it'll spread it all out. It'll do three lines at off at once. So we we need to ted and then windrow. So we're gonna need two. We'll have to windrow after it's been tedded, right? It get it into a line. So what was it sixteen? So we could get this class liner four thousand nine hundred business. This one is a 9.7 meter spread, but I think we'll go just go big because we're probably just going to end up um, grabbing 45 and extending this grass field, right? Although now that we have course play, we don't necessarily need to put grass in a field because we could just set up a course for... Um, we could just set up a course and just do the grass. But I guess the yield is still higher, right? If you If you actually cultivate it on a field. Almost the same spread as my mom. You want to buy field 45? We have enough money. Or do you want to... Do you want to hold fire on that? We are going to need some uh, food for the sheeps pretty soon. We'll run out in, in a couple of months. Am I asking you or asking myself? I mean, a little bit of both. The chicken actually need to be fed? Not yet. Get the roller first. Yeah, we do need the big roller, you're right. Still not on sale. You never know though. We still got uh, two, okay. 
fine. We won't be too hasty. We'll just keep doing what we're doing for now. Let's just keep, keep, keep on keeping on for now. All right, May. We're ready. We're ready for your April. Why bother rolling it? Rolling what? The fields. Talk about the big the, the big fields, not the grass. We need the we need the bigger roller for to prep um, the uh, the planting. I mean we don't need it, but it just make things a bit faster. We need to get some bees too. We haven't had any honey for a while now. Especially if we want to break into the into the cereal market. Did my jerky t-shirt fit? Erica, I have not tried it on, but I'm sure it will, yeah. It's a large t-shirt. I can't imagine that it won't fit. I mean, I have really packed it on a lot recently, but I think I can still fit into a large t-shirt. You'll just be able to really see my spare tire big time. My, and my, my muffin top hanging out the side of the ill-fitting large t-shirt. <clears throat> it's true, my muscles are huge. Yeah, tedding turns grass into hay. It, it, it like dries out the grass and turns it into hay. <clears throat> Pardon me. And when you tet when you when you draw out the grass turn it into hay with the tether, it spreads it all out of the line that it was in. Great demand at the farm shop. Can you believe it? Alright, good. We need hay for TMR as well. Eventually we will, yeah. So it's probably worth getting a supply of hay built up. We'll feed it to sheep. We'll use it for TMR eventually. It's just going to cost some money to get the equipment. It doesn't have to cost that much, though. Um, but we want to get good stuff, right? Oh, shit. No clothes today.
Well, it'll be nice eventually. We won't need to sell planks. Once we once we get uh, the furniture factory upgraded and stuff. Still making bread in June? Still making oil in June? Oh my god. oil from canola that's why we planted so much of it so you can just make oil year round as long as we have like a good harvest of it it was satisfying wasn't it Jim having the load right up to the ceiling it was very very time-consuming though I feel like with all this money now we can get some of these quality of life mods and then just pretend that we've hired people to do it We did so much manual stacking. I think we did enough manual stacking, right? It is 47, 48K for all that. And then probably another 20 from the flowers. I asked it about uh, costing money for auto loading, yeah. Because then you could make it, it'd be a, a little less cheaty, right? You could make it so that, you know, you, you're, you're hiring people to do loading and stuff. The building by the shop is the Silver Run Market, where you can sell a bunch of the um, wood products from the premium expansion. which we haven't really started producing any of yet. The idea is to produce some. It's like just under 20k for all that. Look! There's a 3.5 meter um, with plow. Mmm. Tempting. Oil's a big earner for us, yeah. Clothing, if we can if we can produce more of it per month, then it'll be uh, it'll be huge. But it's just sort of ramping up to it, you know. We gotta do our sheep chores now. Oh my god. 
Oh my god. Have no fear. allowed to do one of those big cheaty bail lifts per day cuz uh, honestly that uh, would kill you it would it would kill you you'd be dead Well, we got enough for uh, all the uh, all the equipment if we want to do it. Get the roller as well. I still feel like I mean, it is June. It's June and we're harvesting tomorrow. And then immediately prepping the fields as well, right? We have to for planting in uh, August. We need to plant canola in August and then more wheat in September. If we buy more land and create more fields, we can probably get an oat harvest in. <laughs> so we want wheat flour activated. new on sale and the fields are all fine from what I can tell we'll have to mow the grass again tomorrow quality competence service um, active workers Course play. 100% for driver wages. Automatic repair. Below 70%. CP driver automatic, automatically repair while driving. Don't repair. Driver will be released if the fuel percentage is less than 5%. That seems fine. Broken threshold? Driver will be released if the vehicle or an implement is more broken. 100% is off. Okay. Stops harvester while it's raining. Activated. A AI helper fruit destruction. Enable disable the fruit destruction for helpers. Deactivate? I don't know what that is. Expert mode. Gamepad friendly HUD. Shows courses on the minimap. Activated. Action event help. Deactivated. Show info texts window. Prefer custom fields. Prefer custom field if there's also a regular field at the selected position. Distance unit meter or foot meter. This is the global settings for course play. How do I actually um, do a course play? What do you, what's the button that I have to hold to um, left shift four? No. Oh, you just get in a tractor and then hit delete? Right. Isn't there a way, like, to do it from, like, the map, though? Like, you can select a field and then assign people to it or something? Or am I imagining that?
horseplay. Delete. Course play. No course. Nearest waypoint? None. The Magnum 340 CVX drive? I don't know what this is. I don't know what any of this does. Ah. Now that I'm in a tractor. Vehicle settings. Oh, I can just set settings for this vehicle alone. Oh, so I can actually, for silo worker, tool settings, raise tools early, lower tools late. Holy crap. Only turning on the field activated? <clears throat> no course. Open the course editor. Create a new folder. You can't do anything from here. Set destination, create a job. Target position, vehicle go to. Course place silo work. Or just go to. Where do you get your course pay PhD from? Ugh, I know, right? It's crazy. I, I don't know how to um, edit files, course interaction. Open course editor doesn't seem to do anything. Load a course. There's no courses. Oh, attach a tool. Oh, okay. All right. So let's try it out with the with the harvester when it's harvesting time. And then we can maybe try to get uh, the other tractor to uh, follow it around with the uh, we could do like a we could do a course for following around the harvester depending on the on the field. You know, like if it's wheat and then have it when it's full go and deliver and then come back and and stuff. And then the AI can just boom handle it. You can draw a field in the AI jobs page when you don't have a tractor selected. In the AI jobs page. Draw a custom field. Oh. That doesn't actually do anything. This is backspace, right? The backspace button? Yeah, it doesn't, it's not letting me, it doesn't actually do anything. Tab? Oh, is it tab? No, it's not tab. Draw custom field lines with the, with right click. Wow. How do you um how do you fix it when it's broken? <laughs> how do I remove this one? <laughs> and this one? <laughs> oh, you can move the points after you save it. Do you want to save the recorded course as custom field CP1? Uh, okay. CP1. Rename the custom field. Edit the custom field. I... What is it doing? <laughs> Hello? Edit custom field. It just fucking takes control of... Uh, it just goes into this, like, uh, constant panning.
No, space doesn't work. I, like, none of the buttons work for it. really annoying. Delete the custom field? Yes. Draw a custom field? Yes. Rename the custom field? Let's call this one uh... What are we planting here? Canola one? I'm sure this is canola, right? Yeah, this is canola. So the next field over is wheat, right? And then canola after that? Yeah, this is wheat. Yes. And now I can rename it to wheat one. Nice, okay. And this is going to be canola too. <laughs> no. This is wheat too. Even just being able to do this is so handy actually. Okay, let's see if course play is able to withstand the heat in the kitchen here <laughs> yes and this is uh canola three and then this one for now is oh god good enough i guess this is grass All right, and then once we once we start the the jobs, we can auto generate courses in those fields. Cannoli, cannoli, and also Mr. Ravioli. Is that it for June? I believe that might be it for June. I don't think there's anything else to do, right? I don't think there's any uh, mowing to be done. Nope. So tomorrow is uh, our big harvest day. Now you just select a vehicle from that tab to see more. Oh, okay, cool. So canola one, for example, Wait, what was I just in to see the the map? Uh, 
It wasn't this. It's not this view, right? Because now I don't have the option to draw a, a custom field. The steering wheel one? Oh, draw a custom field. Edit custom field. Delete custom field. Rename custom field. So there's nothing I can do from here. Okay, June. with all this money buy a roller buy the one that's going to be on sale in the next sale the casino my gosh it's harvest day it is nearly harvest day it is now let's wait for the morning to um, to hit and then we'll slow time right down and then we'll see about getting some of this course play stuff set up for harvesting these fields It'd be good if we could get just a couple of simple things going like harvesting and having a trailer follow the harvester maybe even unload it in the right silo and stuff Yeah, it's, it's 5.46 in the morning. Okay, so let's start with an easy one, Canola 1, and see if we can get this, uh, get this going. It looks like everything is ready to be harvested. We can maybe do some grass mowing stuff today too. Once everybody's um, set up, I think I should save. So if I go in here now, and I what, create a job? Field work? CP field work. Canola one. 
start at first waypoint target position Do I need to do a um, field position? Generate a course before starting the, the job. So I have to generate a course. Open, close the course generator. Work width. So the work width is um, however uh, wide our header is, right? I need to check that or has it picked it up automatically is 13.8 meters the uh, the header that we have right now work with is 99% always correct it auto detects all right okay cool Multiple tools, number of vehicles on the same course. Um, right, so for this, for canola harvest, we just want two vehicles, right? But we don't want the course for the harvester to be, we don't want a, a tractor following the harvester directly behind, right? Like it needs to be, there's probably an option in here, right? Number of headlands, value zero to 40. Headlands is like the is is like doing like a like a surround of the field, right? Like you do like the outline of the field to to give um, more turning space that's on the field. How many headlands should we have then? Two. One at the top and one at the bottom. Start work on the headland. Headland corners sharp. I want them sharp. Do I want them sharp or smooth? Field center, up, down. Rows to skip, none. Rows per land, six. Island bypass mode, circle, sure. Just start with one headland. Okay, sure. So start work on headland. Um, generate field work course. So this is fine. Is this fine? Just hit enter to generate it. Oh yeah, look at that. It has generated a course. Okay. Start job. Come on, man. You don't have to fold the whole damn thing up. Well, you can if you want. God, we should have washed it. All right, how do I set up a job for um, a tractor to follow behind with the uh, with the thing? So sorry. You carry on. So I need to get the right tool attached. Good thing crop destruction isn't on. Look at this guy go. He would be wrecking everything. He would be completely wrecking everything. Create a job. So we want to do unload combine, load and deliver. 
unload combine target position F so field position is this one unload the combine giants unloader deactivate it silver run market So we want this to go to the oil mill. Unloading on the field deactivated. No, no, it's not going to dump it on the floor, I don't think. So is this enough to just set this up? Is he going to follow him or what? Start the job. Activate the giant's unloader. Oil mill. Or it'll dump it somewhere. What? The oil mill it should do, right? Okay, well, there is some AI here, but... Is it just waiting for it to be full up? Active worker. Okay, hang on. So, I need to create a job. So this is course play unload combine. Unloading on the field deactivated. Load and deliver. Deliver. Unload the combine. We want it to go to the oil mill. I don't want him to unload on the field. This is definitely not the vanilla one. This is this is course play, but I don't really know if we're if I'm doing this right. Oh, I need to be within range of it unload combine start the job Um, how do you get it to just to follow the combine and like they do in in the real world? It waits till eighty percent. Oh right. Oh, it doesn't. There is a way to make it follow though, right? <clears throat> you just have to set up a course for it. It's a different mod, but okay. But so this guy is just gonna unload him and uh, and load him up. Okay, that's. I mean, that's fine. We can just leave him to do that, right? <coughs> Pardon me. And then in the meantime, I can do some some quick jobs. Free this guy up to do some uh, mulching. Is it the canola that we mulch? Can't remember. Mm. 
Doodaloo, 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 doodaloo. <coughs> Pardon me. He's doing it. He's going to unload. Oh my god, he's following him. Look at this. Chat, we've done it. It's doing it. Oh my god! This is great! Oh man, this is so good! <clears throat> Pardon me. It's been a slight accident on the field. He even closes the cover! Oh, that's incredible. Okay, next job. Uh, we are going to uh, create a job, field work. CP field work. Um, field position is this one. Uh, we want to open the course generator now. 5.8 meters, multiple tools, number headlands, zero, field center up and down, rows to skip zero, rows per land, island by bypass mode. Okay. Yeah, perfect. Start the job. He's doing it. Come on, man. Come on. It's so good. They can just work the whole damn field. Oh, man. The joy of having some, some money. Very nice. Okay, what else do we need to do? Once this is mulched, we got to... Uh, we got to cultivate it, right? <clears throat> now I can sit in the office and do nothing? It's exactly. Well, while these guys are doing this, I can go mow the grass. Or, even better, just get uh, the AI to do it and uh, bail it all up as well. They, they can follow the same course with the baler, right? So this guy here, grass one, so we want to create a job, uh, CP field work, field position is grass one, um, we want to open the course generator, work with it's three meters, multiple tools, number of headlands, two. Smooth up and down, rows to skip, rows per line. Yeah, fine. He's off. This guy's going to mow the grass.
I guess he's springing into action soon. 14,000 liters of cannoli there. Pretty good. I don't want to move the tractor. I don't want to mess with the system, you know? Now that they're doing it. He'll be... The, that other tractor will move in a minute to go and uh, empty it out, right? Should be fine. Oh, we got clothes to sell today. I feel like it'll sort it out once the other guy starts moving, right? Let's see if it does, actually. I don't know. Oh, shit. Meanwhile, in the production village... I just damaged the truck. <clears throat> I need to help Pyrian and Tarkov. I don't think he needs my help. I think Pyrian is a better Tarkovsky player than I am. There, see? It's sorted itself out. See? He moved. Now, the real, uh, the, the real question is, will this guy deliver the cannoli to the right place. He doesn't have a full load yet, so... That's great. <clears throat> oh, is the mower's doing three uh, is doing three meter. Oh, because it didn't take into account the uh, the 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 back bit. I need to change the uh, the course. To be uh, nine. Fourteen thousand nine hundred and six liters. This guy uh, has given up, I think. Oh yeah, look what he's doing. Alright, so this guy, we need to create a job for him. On here, uh, actually this one needs to be edited, right? Create job. Save course, clear current course. No, no. What? Create a job. Field position, this one. Field work. So, it needs to be... Nine, right? Oh my god. Can you not? Oh, you can. Nine meters. Okay. Multiple tools. Um, 
generate? Could not generate course. Log may have more information. How do I delete this uh, this one? That's here already. Log. Okay, we want this guy to do canola two now, right? Uh, multiple tools, two headlands, smooth up, down, yeah. This guy is full up. What's he doing to the wheels? <laughs> is he trying to find his way to the delivery area? Yeah, he is. <laughs> hey, look, he's, he's figuring it out. It's baby's first time. No. No. Good, good, good. Not that one either. Don't go off the jump. Let's see if he can actually do it. Hey, he's figured it out. He found it. Yes. 32,000 liters of cannoli in here? Come on, man. He's done it. Look at that. That's great. All right, mate. Next up, we need you to... Um, we want to create a job for this guy, right? Oh. He's still on this job? So when it's done, he should it, it should say that he's done doing this job, right? I think the game might have crashed. Oh, no, it's fine. Okay, so we can just cancel. Left the course, stopped. Okay, now we can create a new job for this guy. So this is going to be CP, unload combine, combine, activated oil mill, field position, canola 2. He's going. He'll, he, he'll go when he's ready.
I don't think this guy... Come on, man. You just plowed into all of this machinery here? And you didn't even finish the job? Why can't I click on these fucking jobs? It's so frustrating. I can see it here. Like, uh, why... Why is it saying create a job now? Resume from last waypoint? There's no option for that. It's just create job and set destination. Right click when I'm in the machine. I'm in the machine, I'm right clicking. I don't know how to recreate the job though. It's like I tried to do it on the grass one and it's just stuck there. Out of the map view? Oh, you can do it, like, from here. I see. Hello? You just gotta go back over it a bit. Okay, he's waiting. Work with this nine meters now. Okay, that's a little bit easier actually. I don't know what this guy is doing. <laughs> Hello. This guy is absolutely the highest he's ever been. Okay, he's found the field again, at least. Looks like he's turning on all of the systems. Oh. Okay, I think some mowing is taking place. All right. Let's see what he does next. Okay, let's come back and check on him after. What happened to this guy? He just gave up? Looks like the harvester is back in action. <coughs> on canola too.
we're on um oh i need the uh i need that playlist if uh, erica's still here she's probably not here erica are you still here i had it Thanks, Dowie. Thanks. Where did the, uh... Where did the little menu, uh on the side here go. What button did I press to get rid of it? F1. Aha, thank you. I think you're right. I think this guy's thing is temporary course. So how do you, um, how do I get rid of this? Copy course, temporary course? No. I don't want to copy this course at all. Hit delete. Now, uh, how do I how do I get rid of this job up here? This one, because it's set to th to three meters when it should be nine. That's why it's he's made like a total ass of it. It's just a temporary one. Next to the eye icon? This one. Oh, you can record your own course. Aha! Perfect. Right, nine meters. Could not generate course. Why is this field so fucked? What happened to it? Ah, uh, there we go. It didn't like doing headlands. Here he comes. He's on his way. Okay, chat. You guys can watch these guys fumble about for a couple of minutes. I have to go to the bathroom. I'm also, uh, while I'm in the bathroom, going to eat a sandwich. Okay, I'll be right back. See you in a sec.
What happened? What happened? Oh. Okay, so this guy has done a load. Good. Cannot tab away from this. Uh. Hello. <laughs> fucking. Hello. <laughs> I don't. <laughs> okay. The the, the game is just possessed. None of the buttons work. <laughs> like, hello, <laughs> fucking game. What is happening? What is happening? Why can't I move? Or do anything? Fucking hell. No, there's no controller plugged in. Yeah, I can't left- I cannot do anything. I cannot move. I can't press escape or sp- This fucking mod is not that great. I, everybody swears it's not amazing. It is a mess. Right click does not work nothing. Tab out and then back in? Nope. I cannot move or do anything. Open course play. I cannot. I know there's a worker in the tractor. I cannot fucking move or tab or escape nothing. Nothing works. I'm right clicking. I'm I'm clicking everything. No oh, fuck. Yeah, I got tea. I did get some tea. Yeah, I've tried clicking. Yeah. I don't know, you can probably hear it in the background, I'm clicking everything. Nothing. Just does not do anything. Uh, oh, my face on the keyboard. Left shift four. Oh, shift seems to have done something. Now inside the building. Nothing. Um. Oh, that's annoying. I can't. I can't do anything. I just cannot do anything. Oh, that's a shame. It's a it's a shame that this is has done this. It's a mess. Congrats on a billion. Well done. Thanks. 
Thank you so much. Oh, man, I can't believe we did it. I can't believe we finally made a billion dollars. I mean, you saw, like, the, the, the ramp up and everything. We made a billion dollars. We were worth probably, like, multiple billions in the end with all the... With all the stuff that we had and everything, God, it was so good, man. Course play, I I was I was excited to use it, and for for a bit it seemed pretty good, but man, it's it's a bit wild as well. Mission accomplished. Oh God, it feels so good. Time for House Flipper 2? Um, well, we can try some House Flipper 2. House Flipper 2. I have a code for it, actually, that I haven't redeemed yet. You want to try some House Flipper 2? Do you think it needs some more time to... Uh, do you think it needs some more time? It needs more time? It needs some a little bit of time to cook. We could play some Battlegrounds for a bit, or some um, Overwatch Two. House Flipper Two. Um, let me just activate this. I have I have to type it in because the code is on my phone. Try, don't steal the code based on what you can hear. I know you guys can probably hear each individual click and clack. Don't even think about it. Okay. It's not the clack, it's the timing between when I'm hitting you. That's how you you figure it out. Oh, it seems a shame to stop farming Sim, though. Maybe we just deactivate course play? Oh, the AI is so annoyingly bad, but it, just as bad in course play, honestly. Like, there's one of the fields, there's, a, there's something underneath the field that is just causing course play and vanilla AI to just absolutely shit the bed it probably would work better on stock fields yeah i it's probably just because we're playing on a map where we've just created all of our own fields it probably is a, a little bit better on like the actual maps Oh, I'm down for changing it up. It doesn't take much. One little bump in the road. <laughs> uh, we can try.